What do you think needs to happen in our society? And, and I get that it's a big question. Um, I think you could first say, well, we need to, to erase institutional racism. That'd be the first thing that we need to do so that black mothers are treated equally uh, as any other um, race or ethnicity. But, but, we, but it does suggest what, sh what can we do because this has been going on for decades and decades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I will say, you know, it, it does impact white women too, right? Because racism poisons the well for all of us. So while black women, we're talking about statistics comparing black women to white women. Black women die at three to four times the rate that white women do, but white women are not doing as well as their sisters in European nations. So I really appreciate really? you. Yeah, oh, for sure. Uh, and yeah. so I really appreciate you asking the question what we can do, because one of the things we want people to understand is that this is not a doom and gloom film. This is about solutions and, and things that we can do to, to have better birth outcomes. One of those things is to have integrated midwifery care in our healthcare system. All other industrial aside, all other industrialized nations mm -hmm. have that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and to give women opportunities to make the choice about whether they wanna have a birth in a hospital, whether they wanna have a birth in a birthing center, or whether they want a birth at home. Midwives uh, have a real purpose and uh, in, in conjunction with doctors can really provide amazing care. And, and so, I mean, don't we, we have midwives in this country, we do. So but what's they're not, missing? They're not integrated into the system, like in, in, in the UK, for instance, like mm -hmm. they're supported. So you can birth in a hospital, a birthing center at home, um, and, and that's supported by the government. Um, so if something, if somebody needs a transfer to a hospital or needs or needs a higher level of care in an emergency, that's all coordinated here. You, you don't have that at all. There's no coordination between a physician and a midwife unless you do have a few midwives in some hospital systems, but oftentimes they're not allowed to actually catch a baby there. So it's much different here and every state also has their own regulation. So um, there's not mm -hmm. one certification. So you can be certified in New York and literally not be certified in New Jersey. So all of it just creates a lot of confusion in the birth marketplace. Um, and that's why there's only 6%, 6 to 9% um, of births are by midwives here, whereas in Europe, it's way higher. It's everyone gets a midwife. Do you and happen to, to know what the percentages and well, I'm sure all European countries have different percentages, but it's... But yeah. like in the UK, when you become pregnant, you get you have a midwife not assigned to you, but that that's your first, that's the first person at the gate. Mm -hmm. It's not the mm -hmm. you start mm -hmm. that way, and then you coordinate if you need if you need better care. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. and, and look, I mean, the other piece of this is that midwife culturally in the United States, mil midwives have been vilified. There there has been a campaign launched against them. Uh, that has lasted a really long time. I mean, most for so many people, if you say a midwife, people say, "Oh my God, you don't want to go to a midwife." They're, you know, they're terrible. Um, people don't understand the role that midwives really can play in our healthcare system. It would help everybody. 